that is in Cave Spring, Georgia. It is in Floyd County, where Rome is, which is my hometown. So just wanted to show you guys a little bit. Everybody's heard of Cave Spring, and they know that the cave is there, but Rollator is a lot more than just a cave. Rollator is more than just the Cave Spring itself. Um, there is a whole park there, and I wanted to show you that. It's one of the parks I grew up with. Uh, I was actually in the newspaper in my hometown uh, fishing when I was a kid there. So I've always kind of um, just really enjoyed Rollator. It's, it's a spot that I like to go to. It's not a big park, but there is more there. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys that. So that's what this video is going to be about. And uh, we'll head there next. So we'll see you there. Hey guys, so here we are. We're actually at Rollator Park. Um, we're on the west side of it now. You can see a small pond right here. Obviously, geese are here now. Uh, during the summer, you've got plenty of ducks and things like that. And I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can see, there are large trout in here. And this water is crystal clear. This is some of the clearest water you'll find to me anywhere. I've grown up around here, like I said. I love this place. One is because of the water. And on the west side, the reason the water is so clear is it actually comes out of a spout right here at the cave. Now the cave has been closed since COVID started up. Uh, so hopefully we can get past this pretty soon and get back to going into the cave because that's always fun. Um, but this water is filtered by limestone that's in the mountain. So this water comes down through the cave and it's filtered by itself. So this is not, uh, there's no chemicals in it. This is not a treatment. This is not anything like that. This is just water that comes out of the cave spring. Hey guys. Um, and you'll see people here fill up water bottles all the time. It's perfectly fine. You can come out here, you can dip a cup straight into this water and drink it. Year round, the water comes out at about 58 degrees, if I remember correctly. So this is the spout right here. So you can pull that out. That is just pure, clean, naturally filtered drinking water. Uh, now it is very cold. We uh, do have a pool here that I'll show you in just a few minutes. It's not open during the winter for obvious reasons, but even in the summer, when I was a kid, I could swim in it. But man, that stuff is so cold now. I'm, I'm not able to jump in there. It is too cold for me. So, um, there is a group that gets together every year and does a polar plunge and they get late December, early January. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely check that out. That should be on the Cave Spring website, but uh, they do that. I don't know how they do that, man. Kudos to those guys because it is cold. So like I said, here's the pond. I'll do and show you a little bit other than the park. Now this is a non-fishing pond. I said there was trout in there. There are a good amount of trout oh there's some ducks we got some ducks out there too there are some big trout there but the reason they get to be so big is this isn't a fishing pond i think they have like one or two uh, days a year that they'll let you fish and then right here's the entrance that you can get back there's the door that lets you into the cave i think the last time we did it it was a whole dollar dollar to get in the cave all those are donations to go to help the park keep it clean um, they've done a lot of renovations to it that's made it really nice you can come out here you can have a cookout you can have a picnic uh, they've done a lot they do have some historical buildings on the park grounds as well those do belong to the city so there's not just open access to any of the public but the park itself as long as it's open between dusk and dawn no between dawn and dusk sorry you can come out here and just enjoy and it's a nice place to walk this is gorgeous you can tell all the leaves changing colors all right there all those beautiful colors coming in it is uh, about that time i know up north y'all have went through that a little bit earlier but now's the time that we get the really beautiful oranges and the autumns and the browns and all those great colors coming in so that pond does have an overflow here over a bridge and it comes down and runs down towards the pool but just to kind of give you there's multicolored rock in there and you can see my reflection in the water but it is i mean crystal clear 
Um, now, once it gets past that bridge over there, it's no longer drinkable water because then the wildlife is in there. So they only want you to pull clean drinking water out. So we're gonna show you a bit of uh, pickup shots here, or I'm gonna show you a little bit around the park, guys. Now, we'll tell you there is on the other side, another creek that is fishable, as long as the fish that you're fishing for are in season, you can fish that year round. It's just the pond that is not. So let's show you a little bit more about it. All right guys, so behind me you can see the big pool there. Right here, you're gonna see the water flowing in. Now there is a little bit of a treatment plant, obviously, because, or not plant, but a treatment um, center right there. Because people do swim in this water and obviously they can't keep the wildlife out of it. So it does filter the water to get anything out of there that's not supposed to be there for good, healthy, clean water. Um, but right there's the big pool. Uh, usually in the summer, pre-COVID, it would be packed every weekend, most weekdays, honestly but it is very sizable lifeguards on duty and everything once again they do charge to get in but it is not anything crazy uh, and again it goes into helping keep the park clean keep the park safe so if you're in or around rome in the summer and everything else seems super super busy come on out to cave spring guys um, i actually just wanted to go get a little fresh air take a break from editing take a break from work and come out here and get some fresh air in, do a little bit of walking. I thought, why not show them one of the parks that I like a lot? I come over here a good bit. I like this park, one, because it's not so many people. Uh, two, uh, I love to fish. So I'll come over here and the creek here actually has a decent amount of trout in it. Now this is one that they fill a couple of times a year, which helps, but um, this one's just relaxing. You don't have a whole lot of background noise, a whole lot of cars going back and forth. Cape Spring is a smaller community, which I, I like. And I just come over here and I'll walk. So it's not a huge park. I don't even think there's a playground on it. But it's one of those parks that you can come make your own fun. We've, we've brought football out here. We've brought a water balloon launcher, and that was a great day. We had a lot of fun with those, probably like 300 water balloons. Yes, we picked up after ourselves, but... Uh, there's a big enough field that you could go, you know, 150, 200 yards with the balloons and still able to hit people and stay within the park. There's a restaurant right across, which is that bridge right there. 
which goes over the other creek that I was telling you guys about. So the other creek is on the front side. You actually cross it to get into the park. And that's where fishing is okay year round. You can fish in there anytime. Can't keep anything that's out of season, obviously. But once again, not as clean as what comes out of the cave, but this water is super nice. You can see everything. Uh, really helps with fishing, so you know where or when something's gonna be. And it goes up all the way through to the front over there. It actually comes out of Rome and flows this way. So there's the back of the historical center. There's the back of the historical center right there. One of the old buildings, the log cabin building there. Picnic tables. You got a grill out here. So if you don't even have your own grill, you can come out here, bring some charcoal, grill out. But this is one of those things that I like to do this one um, by myself. I like to come out here, take a walk, just kind of de-stress a little bit. And uh, I do want to touch on that too, guys. It's a big hot button thing right now with everybody taking care of their mental health or taking care of themselves. Don't underestimate the power of getting outside, guys. Don't underestimate the power of being with yourself. Just going out, enjoying the day. Like today, it's a beautiful day. It's about 65 degrees. It's comfortable enough for some jeans, some comfortable shoes, t-shirt. And I'm just coming out here walking. Um, that has done more for me in the last two years on the mental health side than anything. I just get outside, I go do something, I'll be active. And I've enjoyed that a lot. So look at little parks like this around your neighborhood. If you are from Floyd County, I would definitely say come out and check out Rolator. There's the bridge from where the creek comes in from north of the county. So yeah, just come out here, take a walk, and, and enjoy outdoors, guys. It doesn't have to be you have to go hunting to be an outdoorsman. You have to go fishing to be an outdoorsman. You could just like go into the park and take a walk. It's beautiful outside. And that's what I like to do. I'll probably do this twice a week. Just go take an hour, go walk around the park, see all what nature has to give you. And right now, especially in Georgia, nature's given us a whole lot. There's a whole lot of colors, a whole lot of vibrancy going on. You can see the changes going on before the dead of winter. So get out and enjoy it. You know, I, I, we get so wrapped up, and it's funny because I'm showing you guys a video, but we get so wrapped up in the phones and videos and things like that. I want to urge you guys, get out there. And if you're close to me, come check out Rollator Park. If the cave's open, definitely do the cave. Go in, go check it out, go see where the water comes from. This is actually the water that goes straight to my house my house gets this water and it's it's great so come out here fill you up a few water bottles take a walk feed the ducks and do stuff like that but just get outside go enjoy it and uh, that that will help because i've i've had struggles uh a bunch honestly but getting outside going for walks doing things like going fishing going to check out new hiking areas which i do want to show you guys so this is called georgia journeys and i do want to show you other places like nakalula falls amicalola but i want to show you that it doesn't take all these magnificent things that we hear about all the time to enjoy it you can go out go to your local park walk around just see the changes in the trees see the duck on the water see a squirrel getting ready for winter things like that guys and it really does help it does change a lot and it will help your life it'll help perspective and you'll just enjoy it so if you're from around here definitely come check out row later it's a good little park i enjoy it a lot and if you're not check out what your local parks are you don't have to look at the big park you don't have to look at the one that everybody goes to just go look at any little park and just go walk around go explore go figure out everything that's around you because there's more than meets the eye, I promise. And it really does help. And it'll help the parks department. It'll help wildlife. And especially if you're near a national park 
or a national forest, anything like that, go check those out. Go check out smaller parks too. It's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun. And I will drop the spot where Rollator is in Cave Spring down below. If you like this kind of stuff, leave me a comment. Leave me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel because I'm definitely into this kind of stuff and I want to bring you guys along with me when I go on a hike, go for a walk, anything like that and show you guys, hey, this is where I like to go. Maybe you'll see me out. If you do, come up and say hello. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. So we'll see you guys next time. Fam Jam, I'm out. Thanks. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up at Row Later Park. I got a good little walk in. Feel pretty good about it. Got some sunshine going. Uh, as you could tell, there was, there was people pulling water out of the cave the whole time I was here. That's how good the water is. And uh, I actually got to test out my GoPro for some underwater footage today. So I think this was a super big success. I'm excited about this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, again, I'm going to put the location of where Rollator Park is. Of course, you can Google it. Just put Rollator Park in Cave Spring, Georgia. But I'm going to put it in the description below. Let everybody know. Um, and man, guys, I love that little park. I've been going to that park since I was a, a kid. And love it. I, I think my first time there was... Maybe I was six. And... Um, I've been going there ever since. Got some cool underwater footage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm definitely looking to get into that some more. And while you're down here, check out Martha Jane's Fudge, the Cave Spring General Store. The old school feel um, of Cave Spring is pretty cool too. So while you're at the park, check out some of the local businesses. They'll surely appreciate it. And it's just great, guys. Just take a day, come to Cave Spring, enjoy it. You're just around Rome, you're visiting, you're from Rome, or you just moved to Rome and hadn't really had a chance to go out and see all of Floyd County. Um, there are some other little spots that I'll throw into a video too, but Cave Spring and Rollator really has a special place in my heart. I love that place. So thank you guys for checking in, checking out this video, and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And if you could, leave me a like, a subscribe. That helps me out a ton. We did cross over a thousand views for the channel. Thank you guys so much, that's awesome. Um, I did see that this morning, we got to a thousand views, which is awesome. We did that in less than a month, and that is all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. I'm gonna look at some other stuff to do, but these little fun videos of where I like to go, what I like to do when I'm hiking, when I'm going out for a walk, just want to go be out in nature um, i'm definitely going to take you guys with me let you guys see what i see and hopefully it'll get you guys to to go check it out and go do these kind of things um so until next time guys i really appreciate it this is georgia fam jam i'm out